So let's go over a muscle called the extensor carpi radialis longus. This is a very important muscle. So let's talk a little bit about the extensor carpi radialis longus. It functions as a primary wrist extensor and radial deviator. Now it basically plays a role in terms of stabilizing the wrist uh, during gripping and forearm movements. So pretty important. Its origin is on the lateral supracondyle ridge of the humerus. So all the way up. And then basically inserts at the base of the second metacarpal on the dorsal side. So all the way down. Okay, okay I'm just going to move my way around here a bit. Mm -hmm. How are we doing there? That's good. Okay. Now take it down here, bring it into extension, move it around, circle. There we go. Oh, that's tender. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a different story, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So when I go like this, that's one way of addressing mm -hmm. that. But if I actually lock it off and then have you move your wrist around, oh, yeah. there, there's no comparison, is mm -hmm. there? So in terms of the innervation of this particular muscle, the nerve supply is the radial nerve, so we're talking C6, C7, and uh, basically the radial nerve provides motor control for the wrist and for uh, stabilization. Good. All the way down, keep going. So this would be kind of a combination where I get in there and I work the area out, but I'd also move it around a bit, work it out, move it around a bit. So I do both in terms of passive, but also active with you. Good. So, while we're here, I want to make sure that the radial head's moving well. You okay there? Mm-hmm. Good. Take it down. Make sure I'm mobilizing the wrist here. So we are going to consider osseous structures. Making sure we, we don't have a restriction anywhere. Good. Now, let's talk about a few points here. So let's talk about a few acupuncture points we can use in terms of treating this particular muscle. If we do that, we're going to be able to actually access a lot of the fascial connections, the fascial kinetic chain. So around the elbow here, we're going to go to specific acupuncture points such as large intestine 11. Now I've done videos on each of these points, so if you'd like more information, you can always go to our TCM playlist on our YouTube channel and you'll see specific videos on each of these, but also you'll see what we call fascial expansion. So we explain several points that are used for this. Okay, I'm going to go at 90 degrees here, elbow crease, straight over, and then up from there, right there. Pretty tender? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stimulate this, moving clockwise, anti-clockwise, but I'm also going to get in and kind of move the area around a bit and stay there. Do you feel that one more? A bit? Yeah. Yeah, quite a bit more as compared to me just getting on there and rubbing the area. Mm -hmm. So this is going to help to increase blood flow. It'll actually decrease the pain you're experiencing in the area, and all the soft tissue in the area should soften up quite a bit. I can always move up about one thumb width from there, and this will take me up to large intestine 12, and that will help to release that too. You okay there? Cool. That's a little, even more tender. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we'd get up there for about 30 seconds to three minutes. Good. Now, I can move down from this point towards the wrist, now I go right in between here, and I'll get to a point called triple heater five. Is that tender at all right there? It's not bad. Not bad? But you can still feel, yeah. okay. So you can stimulate it this way, but I actually think you get more of a result if you just move it around a bit, stay in that point, but just move it through the area. And again, this is going to help to reduce the amount of inflammatory response in the area, free up the mobility of the joints itself, and take pressure off the whole fascial system, all the way from the elbow down to the wrist. Good. So this is really powerful work.